Hello everybody, so today's video is going to be an unboxing of my Rimmel Vox Box from Influencer. I did do this video probably like seven, eight months ago, maybe even a year ago, I don't even know, like a long time ago I did this video unboxing my first Vox Box from Influencer. Now before I start the video I'm going to explain what Influencer actually is because it is actually really good. Now it's basically a website that you can go on and I heard about it from a different YouTuber but you go on the website and if you are a YouTuber you probably already know about this so you know I'm sorry to bore you but you go on the website and basically you sign up and you link all of your social medias. So I linked my Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So you don't have to have a YouTube channel to sign up to Influencer. You might just have a Facebook and an Instagram. What it does is it combines all of your followers together into sort of one pot of like number. And I have just, like sort of just over 5,000 altogether, including my Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Obviously the more followers you have, the more chance you are of receiving a Vox Box. But what you do is you fill out questionnaires and things like that that are tailored to you. So for example, I filled out questionnaires based on skincare, makeup, fashion, that kind of thing, so that they kind of know what kind of products to send you. Whereas if you're kind of a pet person and you have maybe a dog or a cat, there's questionnaires you can fill out about your pets and they might send you some free dog food or free dog treats to try and um, promote. And basically what they do is once you've filled out your questionnaires, is they will send you another questionnaire for a kind of range or a product and mine was kind of a Rimmel range that had come out. You fill out the questionnaire and basically tick yes for everything. If it says, would you like an eyeliner? Do you wear eyeliner? Say yes, even if you don't, because otherwise they're not gonna send you the products if you know what I mean. So just kind of, you know, do it a little bit clever so that you know they're gonna send you the products. Um, if obviously you want the products. And then once you've filled up the questionnaire, they will then enter you into kind of like a little drawer and then they might select you to be one of the people that they send the Vox Box to. They will let you know. The Vox Box will then come in the post and you will open it. Um, mine was from Rimmel, so obviously because I'm sort of more makeup-y themed, but yours could be literally anything. Um, food, dog food, um, anything like that. Then what they want you to do is they want you to look at the products, use them, and then review them on Influencer, so on the website itself. They want you to get the app, do reviews on it and kind of post pictures, etc. And they also encourage you to post about it on your Instagram or obviously your Facebook as well and like hashtag influencer, etc. That is sort of what they all oh, that is what they want you to do, basically. But you don't have to, but you know, they recommend it. And you do have to state that these products were sent to you for free. So that's what I'm gonna do now. These products were sent to me for free. I've already done an Instagram post based on this and this is the YouTube video for this. I did actually get this box about three months ago and I filmed this video twice, but I just thought I'll film the video when I've got all my setup here, um, just cause it'd be a little bit better. So if you wanna sign up to Influencer, even if you're one of my friends, I would recommend doing it because it is really good and you do have a chance of getting a box. So, you know, you might as well just do it, okay? It's free give it a good go. So I'll link Influencer's website down in the description if you wanna go and have a little look, cause I think you should. I am just really quickly gonna show you what I got sent last time, just because I want to, and I'm gonna. So yeah, I'm gonna show you the stuff I got last time because I just think that maybe you haven't seen that. Um, and I just wanna show you it. So if you hold in tight, um, they actually sent me a lot more stuff last time than they did this time, but it's fine. So I've kept all the stuff together from last time. So my first Fox box was also from Rimmel. So maybe kind of Rimmel is more tailored to me than any other brand, probably because it's drugstore. Um, and this is what the little card looked like for last time little information sheet and I'm just going to quickly rush through the stuff I got last time because I technically have spoken about this before. So I got the Rimmel Wonderfully Real Mascara. I have actually ran out of this now so I'm not going to be using this anymore. It was a great mascara for lengthening your lashes. Obviously all of these products are on sale right now. That is um, also on sale so you can buy it. I then also got sent three lip toppers. When I first got sent these, I was like, oh cool, like what am I gonna use these for? Because you know, 
to be honest they're a little bit difficult to use in terms of an everyday basis they're great for festivals and things like that but what i do is i just apply a little bit to the back of my hand and then just dab a little bit on my lips and it adds a little bit of a shimmer um but yeah there's three shades the first one here is in the shade gold so this one here is shade gold um we then have the shade pearlescent which is this one here and then finally the shade blush gold which is here which i do actually really like this one these are five pounds something in the shop so i obviously went into the shop and i saw them and i was like oh you know i already got sent these so that was good um and they were five pounds something but i would definitely not buy these if i hadn't have been sent them because the you know they're not necessarily my thing and then last time i also with that same vox box got sent two eyeliners so the first one is just this um gold one here number two gold and it's just a good gold eyeliner that you can use at a festival and then this black one here which i use whenever i do winged eyeliner so this is my everyday winged eyeliner eyeliner so yeah that's what i got sent last time i just thought i'd briefly go through it oh and also some fake tattoos as well now onto the stuff that i got this time i love getting this box in the post because doesn't that just look cute like it's just a cute little box but like i said there's less stuff this time than there was last time i won't be trying on any of the things but i will um hopefully insert some pictures in kind of showing you the products because sort of on my face because i did do a kind of a festival makeup look on my instagram um so if you want to go and follow me on instagram i'll link that down below as well but I did do an Instagram look and I will hopefully insert some pictures to show you because I used all of the products then. So this is the little card it came with and it is in collaboration with Love Island. So not every product is in collaboration with Love Island but one of them is so I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah there's three kind of main things here that they've um, brought out in this collection. And like it says, I have to state that I got sent these for free. So the first thing I will start off with is the fake tattoos. So these are the um, fake tattoos which are in collaboration with Love Island. I've used two of them before and hopefully I can insert a picture over the top showing the tattoo that I used. I did one on my neck here and I also did, I think, like a pineapple on my arm here. And yeah, they're really, really good. It's not something that you want to use before you're going in the shower because it will wash straight off. But it's really cool, say, if you go into a festival or you just want to try one out. Um, they are really, really good. Um, so it's just one of those fake tattoos that last like, I don't know, a couple of days or something like that until you wash it off. Um, but yeah, they're cool. And then they also sent over these three eyeliners here. And this one here is a grey one. And this one is in the shade Fashion which I'll show you how you spell that because I just sound like an idiot reading that out but it's spelt can you see I don't know if you can read that um but I'll try and swatch it on my hand right now just so that you can see but it's just a plain gray shade and basically what you're supposed to do with these is you're supposed to either use them as an eyeliner or blend them out like this into an eyeshadow so they're supposed to be kind of multi-purpose so you can use a winged eyeliner or you can blend them together and use an eye look as kind of this woman is demonstrating on her eyes then we have the shade insta famous which is this kind of goldy color here and again i'll swatch this one this is probably a little bit more wearable as the eyeshadow because it's more subtle but yeah that blends out really really nicely and can give it like a nice overall shimmer i'm not too sure how much these products actually costs but i'm sure you can find out if you research and the last one is in the shade cool af and it is a purpley shade so i'll just put that here and then blend that out so again you can use it as an eyeliner or you can use them as eyeshadows personally i don't think i would be able to use these as eyeshadows because i'm not very good with you know using liquid products as eyeshadows i don't think they would blend very easily in my personal kind of experience because i have tried um but yeah as an eyeliner they're absolutely fine so yeah if you go into a festival you might want to give these a good go and then finally they sent over their new mascara this one is rimmel scandalized wow wings i've seen this advertised by oh what's her name cara delavine on um loads of adverts and she kind of promotes this product because obviously like she's the face of rimmel or whatever like one of their models and it's all right like it's not amazing 
it looks like this so it kind of wings out at the edge can you see like it wings out so it's supposed to kind of fit like perfectly as like a cat eye um it's not necessarily lengthening but it's definitely quite volumizing i've noticed and kind of clumpy so it's not my favorite mascara really but it, it's okay yeah so that is everything that i got in my box box this time i didn't want to do a makeup look with them because you know i just wasn't feeling the vibes for doing that but i will be using probably um the majority of these products and the products from my last vox box, box in um a festival makeup look because i am going to a festival this um this year so i will be doing some festival makeup looks ready for that even though when i actually go to the festival i probably won't even wear these looks just just be being real with you here um but yeah so that's the end of this video again if you want to go and sign up to influencer or just check it out i'll leave the link in the description just for you to give it a check out if you're my friends and you're sitting there watching this video go and do it because you might get sent something free you never know um so yeah give the video a thumbs up subscribe for more videos and i'll see you in my next video i better do anyway so bye